Hey buddy, welcome to the first Thursday update of 2021. I'm Hayden Honeycutt, and I like to upload that video on select Thursday of the month. And now, uh, so before we start, um, um, I like to say that I would take I took the um, Thursday update a uh, month off from December because. A, it was a hot Christmas coming. Yeah, A, uh, once again, A, I had a Christmas off from Thursday update and to open presents. And B, uh, my dad has COVID for three weeks. So I had to open late presents. Late, late presents. Sorry about that. And so um, to now be doing the Thursday update 2021. It's the first edition. Anyway. Anyway. Also, um, thanks to Zach for um, my birthday wish uh, three weeks ago. So it was it was very sweet and I loved it. So here we go. Good evening, welcome to the Thursday Update. I'm Hayden Honeycutt, and here are tonight's top stories. Um, last week is the inauguration of President Joe Biden. So Joe Biden is now the 46th President of the United States, taking over President Donald Trump. Former President Donald Trump to attempts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. So I warn Trump, uh, so I warn Trump to go back where he came from. And um, if anyway, um, anyway, Joe Biden is now the president of the United States. So Trump, screw you. And and get out of the White House! Get out of punk your office! And one thing, and also, you lost your vote, Trump! Get out of here, now! Also, on the same day as the as the narration of um, President Joe Biden, the Hall of Presidents at Magic Camp at Walt Disney World has now closed for its refurbishment to add Joe Biden audio animatronic to the to the attraction. Anyways, I did not see the Hall of Presidents in October 2016 because because of the hurricane and rolling in, and so. October 2019, I did, which has Trump in it. So, when Disney is safe to go, and when I see the Hall of Presidents with a safe, during the safe Disney trip, Joe Biden will be there. So, that's how it's gonna work out. And finally, same day, same president, Finally, finally on the same day on Ignoration Day, Zach Tinson released a released a released a song parody. Yeah, released a video do, of him doing a song parody of um of of letting Trump go, and because Biden is Ignoration, so Trump's gone, Zach. Good thing, the good thing Trump's gone, Zach, and Biden is now the president of the United States. And the song parody that Zach did is 
is a parody to Let It Go from Disney's, Disney's Frozen. It's called Please Just Go. It's, it's letting Trump go. So screw you, Trump, and welcome Joe Biden. Here's some sign news. Next month on Disney Plus, all five seasons of The Muppet Show will be released. Although um, I'm a, I'm a fan of The Muppets, and um, I really love Kermit the best. And so get ready to see Kermit and Friends um, in the original Muppet Show, which ran from 1976 to 1981. And some another exciting news. Disney Entertainment is will be making its return this summer. More entertainment returns this summer. With Festival of the Lion King at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. It'll be presented in a modified format. Keeping the keeping the cast, crew, cast members, and guests safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. Although I've seen Festival of the Lion King before, although I'm going on a virtual trip again and seeing it in the, in the regular format. So, so I don't have to wear a mask during a virtual trip. So, yeah, welcome back. Um, and last, Last October, the entire cast and crew of the show were being laid off. So, but if the show's reopening this summer, um, we don't know if the same laid off cast members are coming back to the show. We hope so. Maybe they're looking for new performers. Maybe, maybe it's the same. Maybe the same were being laid off. So, that's all I can say. The new Cirque du Soleil show, Drawn to Life, was slated to debut at Disney Springs later this year. It was originally, it was originally, they, it was originally slated to open in March of 2020, but was delayed repeatedly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, Cirque du Soleil have, have laid off um, 95 percent of their employees. And a couple of months later, they they filed for bankruptcy. Drawn to Life was eventually scheduled for the November opening, but but this was canceled with no further updates. So it'll it'll debut later this year. We hope. And good thing the vaccine is in progress. Here's a simple question. When is the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl is Sunday, February the 7th. So get ready to see, get ready to see um, Kansas City Chefs versus um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Super Bowl limited in person attendance. But it'll be a modified Super Bowl, Super Bowl party this year. So we have a small party right here. So I learned and save the chips for, for from the party for later. And and some of my dad's friends are are coming over. So and and see the game from outside and inside because they have to stay six feet away. So that's what the Super Bowl 2021 can look like. And here's another simple question. Uh, when will Walt Disney World stop requiring face masks? The latter is usually some variant asking whatever mask will be mandatory in spring or summer 2021. So, but still, Florida is not safe. 
so guests will continue to wear the mask until the vaccine is in progress, until all the Florida residents are vaccinated. And to, and, and to see if they can reopen some of the attractions and shows, is if my fabulous my Cobra comes back to the Mexico Pavilion, I'll have to see. When, uh, anyways, virtual trips continue until Florida and California are safe. The Disneyland Resort pass holders uh, are are now known as Legacy Pass holders. Discounts will continue and other perks to be announced. The Disneyland Resort just announced that those guests who held a valid annual passport when the parks closed, yes, the very same passports that were being canceled and refunded, will now be known as Legacy Pass holders. But I know that Zach has a pass has a pass holder before. It's an annual pass holder. But I'm sure that I can make the special Disneyland trip happen during the, during the summer with with him and and Marissa Ackerman. And I'll see how it works out. But maybe it, maybe next year, 2022, whenever the masks are not required. And finally, California Governor Gavin Newsom lifts, has lifted the stay-at-home orders across the state Monday in response to improving coronavirus conditions. Returning to the state up to the system of county-by-county county restri restrictions, state, officials, state health officials have announced. So, restaurants have, have reopened. The state is also lifting a 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew and so and so um, so the restaurants have resumed outdoor operations in many areas the local the, the local um, officials could choose to continue strictured structure rules And we, we may not know if the parks can, if the Disneyland parks can open later this year. We'll have to see. For Thursday update, I'm Hayden Honeycutt. That's time. And once again, Trump's gone and Biden's welcomed.